Test, test, one, two, and three. Hello, hello. It's quite loud, actually. Test, 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 test. minutes oh my god it's quite a long time actually hello oh what can I but usually they open their servers like uh, 15 minutes early so um, we still have some time we still have some time I've got things planned, okay? I've got things planned. So it's not just me staring at this login screen for whatever minutes. I've got things planned. However, um, let me switch to this. How is everyone? How is everyone? Let me, uh, let me find out how my, my favorite viewers are dreaming. What are you thinking about these days? Uh, switch to Twitch instead. Oh, I see. My thoughts on the collab outfits. Uh... <laughs> okay, let's let's load up the collab outfits. Nikki, let's just go to their official website. I honestly think this collaboration was a plan B. That's my honest thought. This collaboration was a plan B. Because, first of all, this Anis art has been reused so many times. <laughs> and the fact that if you were around during the... Uh, oh my god. If you were around during the um, near collaborations, you'll see the difference in quality of the collaboration PVs and all that stuff. Oh my lord. But yeah, it's uh, I mean, this is the $60 skin. Right, this is the $60 skin. I mean, I guess it saves $60 for a lot of people. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Okay. In the new collaboration, we also got a promotional video, right? But the promotional video... We had a 3D animation in the beginning with uh, Rappy fighting 2B. Like, full-on 3D. This, this is just this, basically. I would say the best part about this was the Anna smile, okay? That was literally the best part about this PV. And if you look at the event thing, it's the Anna's image again, like this one. Oh, they cut it out. Wait, where's the full? <laughs> Look, it's the Anna's thing again. It just feels rushed. Save your post for. Rem before Amelia? Yes, I would say <clears throat> Rem is for sure the one to get. Rem is for sure the one to get. I mean, the the skill difference between Amelia's and Rem is pretty big. Because if we take a look, Rem actually is insane. Because she... Offers insane amounts of attack buffs to herself. She's going to be the highest B2 damage dealer. And then on top of that, 
massive buffs to rocket launchers and lifesteal. Rem best girl. Rem is the best girl. And it's being made clear this collab. Okay. Anyhow. Have you guys seen this PV by the Azure Lane devs? Did you guys see it on my channel? There's ENPV? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> This was crazy. Okay, I'll just fast forward to the good part, okay? This is basically... Why is the setting so bad? This is basically Power World, but anime waifus, right? You've got your super classic setup with the three units on a team, and then you've got your Pokemons with you. It's literally anime waifu Power World. So being a waifu game, we need to check out the quality of the waifus. And here, here they are. Like this physics? Mmm. Mmm. Physics there. The physics definitely there. It's even catering to the Blue Archive players. Look. The senseis. You can come in enjoying this game as well. Oh my god. Dark skinned waifu. Dude, look at that jiggle. That's something. Okay, this. Oh my. Okay, we need to go back. Oh my. I'm playing this. As soon as this game gets closed beta test or early alpha, I'm in. Alright? I'm definitely in. 100%. And the boss fight. Okay, you know what's the crazy thing? We just saw they've taken. Genshin, they've taken Power World, and then, okay, I saw the boss fight. They also taken things from PGR and Wooden Waves. You actually have combat. Look, you have your perfect dodges, and you actually have combat. That's what I was so surprised about. Oh my god, this is crazy. You have a link? The link is on my channel. Uh, you can pre-register. There's global pre-register. Okay, guys. Anytime there is a CN gacha game, 95%, okay, 95%, I will have access to the closed beta. 95%. I don't think there has been a game where I didn't get in the CN uh, closed beta test. Just like uh, Wuthering Waves technical test. It wasn't even available for global, but I got it from CN. Arc, uh, Arc Knights Enfield, I got that. Um, pretty much when there's a CN released, especially if there's a CBT, I will get it. So I will 100%, I will 100% release footage for it. A million social credit? No. I I was just very lucky that um, uh, one of the uh, people I work with is able to get me those um, closed beta tests. Uh, it's, it's all luck. It's all luck. And one other thing I was super excited about, okay? You get to see this when the closed beta test comes. I'll show you guys. guys okay. <clears throat> with her left hand. I, I probably say this a lot, but this game, this game is insane. Do it night abyss, okay? I cannot wait to show you guys in-game uh, in footage and actual gameplay. 
But if this game comes out in 2024, it's actually, I think, one of the uh, the dark horses. Because everyone think about ZZZ, um, thinking about um, uh, Wooden Waves, right? Because they're the biggest names. But this game is actually insane. It's it's going to be so crazy. I will play it when the CBT is available and show you guys on stream. But it's so good. This game is so crazy. Yeah, this is Warframe with waifus, yes. I should uh, some of the in-game footage is here. Okay. I can't I can't disclose too much, but I will just say on the twenty seventh when the CBT opens, you'll see me stream this game and prepare to be blown away. The quality is really, really good. Like the quality is crazy good. Oh my god. Look at that. Look at that. I'm sold. I'm sold. So yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty busy month. Or the next... I think next week is going to be so insane for him. Because we, we've got this game. We've got um, AFK Journey. Uh, I've, I have so many things to cover. It's crazy. Uh, sorry, one second. All right. Uh, anyhow, let me just quickly check. Okay, not yet. One other thing I wanted to show was uh, some of you probably saw me post stuff about um, Union Arena. So the product is finally released in Japan on the 22nd of March. And I've got a few boxes, uh, a few boxes shipped to me. So I'll probably do some uh, unboxing live or on video. But uh, wait, let me. There's no sound. What's the music? Oh, yeah, for those who guys don't know, this is. Nikki um, Uni Arena trading card game. And then all the super rare cards will be signed by the voice actresses. So I'm, I'm pretty pumped for this. I'm personally very, very excited. And this is the uh, the Moldernia card. This Moldernia card is the chase card. So you can see here that um, if we scroll down. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah, it's got other series like Code Geass, JJK, Blue Lock, uh, the Tales of something, I think. But I'm, I'm very keen for Nikkei. Okay, so this is the action point Red Hood card. Uh, it's not a limited thing. They'll keep producing it. It's like a trading card game. So, yeah, this is the Red Hood card. Signed, of course. Very rare. 
I'm happy with either Red Hood Moldernia or Rappi. But this is the action important card. Uh, there are a lot more. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. Let's take a look. Wow, this is really low quality. So this is Alice, Anis, and Rupi. Of course, they have to go a bit more safe in terms of the design. Right? So, uh, you know, huge badonkas need to be covered. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I'll take it. I'll take it. So I'll be opening s s eight, at least eight boxes, if not ten boxes, across various streams, um, across various videos. And there's also going to be giveaways because I actually reached out to some of the uh, vendors. Um, and then they were like, yo, you're actually a Nikkei content creator. So, um, yeah, they're all sold out right now. Only the super expensive ones. The super expensive sites still have some in stock, but all of the um, cheaper sites have all of them sold out. They're really popular. So what's going to happen is they'll restock when the um, the cards officially release on 22nd of March. And then I'll be able to host giveaways for a box or some cards. And then I'll also be able to uh, offer discount codes for people looking to buy those cards. I probably... When I if I open any cards on stream, I'll probably do some giveaways for the cards as well. Okay. When are we pulling? The cards should arrive just around Rem's banner time, right? Um so Rem banner time on the 28th, I should have at least some boxes available. So I'll open them online. Um, I mean, on stream. Look, there's Litter and Lapchon as well. Alternate outfits too. That'd be very cool. I think the VA signatures, so the VA, oh, let me, yeah. The VA signatures are a very nice touch because you get the VA signatures that's somewhat unique because you can see the Lapchon twin tails as well. Somewhat unique to the character and you get a character specific line. This is saying, ha ha ha, uh, the hero is here, right? Tamaya's hand stream. I'm thinking, okay, a couple of ways to do it. I either pre record it and just showcase the cards, or I can actually record unboxing and wear some gloves. Wear my, um, I'll take some gloves from the clinic and I'll wear some gloves to <laughs> unbox. <laughs> that is so whack. But I could do that. I could do that. I could uh, take a box of gloves from my clinic and then uh, unbox them. Not the, not unbox the gloves, but unbox the cards with the gloves. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> what is the pull rate for the sign cards? Um, quite a few, I think. One every two, three boxes? I don't know. I'll find out because someone did... Uh, okay, you know what? I'll find out right now. Someone did a uh, calculation. Surgical gloves. Well, not the full surgical gloves, right? Not the double gloved surgical gloves, but just regular. <laughs> that being insane if I um if I don the surgical gloves to open with a hazmat suit. Yes, I think the gloves would be a nice touch. Um so Union Arena Rarity. Let's see, someone does explain it. Here we go. Back time on reincarnating through this line. It's Diablo, I believe that's the name of his character. And here I something I'll come on to. Okay, so long story yeah. short, you just, you've got something you used to play the game. It's something I'll come on to. Wait. I'll go on here. Charge at one to seven, each boost. Yeah, so 16 packs per box. The box has 20. And I want to see the rate here. Each set has 100 cards, 6 action points. Yep. What about the rarity? He mentions the rarity somewhere. Oh, here we go. 4 SRs. So you get 4. So one booster box contains uh, 4 or 5 SRs. So I think it needs to be the SR stars to be signed, right? Let me check. Or, or these are the SRs. Oh, maybe even the SRs can... Uh... No, I think the... Oh, here we go. 
parallel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. One star. Yes, okay. So you get a signed. One signed per box. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. One signed per box. Can you weigh it? Uh, I don't think so. But yes. Um, is the original Scarlet overloading worth it? If you have Red Hood and Moldurnia overloaded. Yes, of course. But you might want to wait until the half anniversary, which is coming up because they will have pilgrims. So if you can wait, you should. If it's an attacker that's going to be meta to, for the half anniversary, then you can wait. But yeah, anyhow, um, so it will be one signed card per box, right? So if I have eight boxes, I'll have eight of these signed cards. And um, I will give, I think I will give some away. Uh, of course, there's also a box giveaway. And also, in terms of rarity, you see how at the bottom it says SR, 1 star, 2 star, 3 star. I'm pretty sure you need to have at least 2 star to have the signature foil ones. But the um, 3 stars, the 3 stars, you only get 1 per set. Which means that for the entire, I want to say for the entire Nikkei series at release, the only three-star card is this card, which is the Moldernia. This one, the Moldernia three-star. And the two-star version of this Moldernia one already got sold. Uh, 300, uh, almost 400 something. Yeah, almost 400 US dollars. Almost 400 US dollars says it's early. Like someone cracked the box or case early. Um, potentially a vendor and then they put it on sale so the two star was like 400 so I'm gonna assume the three star is like six seven hundred US dollars but of course price is gonna be super bloated at release right um, and if you're not a collector like those prices don't really mean much but personally for me I'll be very happy if I get a Rappi Modernia or Anis signed of course but honestly even the Scarlet Snow White and the Rapunzel one looks so good. <laughs> Why am I live when you're at work? You know, perfect time to slack off at work. But yes, I think they look very, very good. They look so good. The Snow White thing is so, <laughs> so cool. Let me uh, enlarge it. Oh my god. Yeah, so what I did is um, I'll have about eight boxes and then I have two starter decks because they come with starter decks as well. And I'll have some sleeves. So um, I'll definitely do some unboxing and give some cards and uh, stuff away. All right, I'll, I'll give them away. Um, and I'm pretty sure some of the vendors will also host, allow me to host giveaways as well. But yeah, the cards look very nice. I mean, it doesn't show very clearly because there's no reflection. Um, but yes, I think it's going to be very shiny. And uh, ah, th the signature is what I like the most. Is this Nikkei TCG? It's, uh, it's Nikkei series released via Union Arena, which is uh, a popular Japanese TCG. So it's pretty much Nikkei TCG. You, they have um, JJK, Cold Geass, uh, Hunter x Hunter, and all that stuff in this series as well. But Nikkei is the, the brand new series. And of course, there's this as well. Oh my god. So this Moldernia was the one I saw uh, that sold for almost 400 US dollars. Like in five minutes. Because the card's not out yet, technically. The full release is on the 22nd of March, right? But this Moldernia one. Any store ship globally? Yes, yes, yes. Um, wait for my future videos and streams. Definitely catch me doing the REM, REM stream because uh, I'll have more information. They will have more stocks and then I'll have discount code for you guys. So you get you get like 5 to 10% off uh, from the sites and they ship globally as well. But yes. Yeah, so... I mean, even Dorothy would be nice. I'll take a Dorothy. 
but my goal is Moldonia for sure. You got the BA cards and you got to sign Mika. Yeah, this is, I think BA is from a different yeah, series, the West or whatever. I'm not familiar, I'm not that familiar with cards besides uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I actually played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, but yeah, these cards do look nice. And these are the, I think those are the standard par parallel rares, right? Let me, let me check. Okay, so these, uh, let me just confirm that it's standard parallel rares. I think these are the standard parallel rares, so no SRs. I mean, I really hope I get at least a, a couple. And these are the commons. So I'm pretty sure this you will get from um, this you'll get from uh, the starter deck. Is there a red hood card? Yes, there is the action point. There was the action point. The one you got was worth 1k. Damn. When's the milliard banner? In like 10 minutes? Where's the. I'll show you the. Uh, Red Hood one. We just saw it. It was the action point. Oh, here. This is Red Hood one signed. It's nice. It is very nice. Yeah, it's it's physical gotcha. I just love opening packs as well. I just love physical packs as well. Cards look good. Yeah, I think it's the sign part and then leaving a message uh, that's unique to the character is what is what sold it for me. So if we look at this, right? Cards we can see already. So these are the normal SRs, not signed. Myrin, Helm, Privity. Oh my god. Oh, the soda one! Oh, lord! <laughs> oh my god, they have guilty as well! Yo! Okay, I, I hope I don't pull this gremlin. My god. Ready for that 30 pulls MLB? <laughs> okay, alright. <laughs> Look at how big Anis is. It's massive. Oh my god. This is so cool. I'll be very happy with the Anis one. Okay, so those are all the signed ones. So Snow White, Dorothy, Rapunzel, Rappi, Anis. So more than 50% is good. The only ones I don't want from this is Litter and Neon. Uh, every, okay, and maybe Lapcha and Rapunzel. So 1, 2, 3, 4 out of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 1 in 3 to get something I don't want. The rest I 100% want. That litter outfit, I guess. And this is the chain. Oh my god, can I? I think this is legit 600 to gonna be 600 to 800 us dollars okay i will be in japan in july okay if i don't get any card uh, if i don't get any modernia cards out of the boxes i will go to japan and pick it up myself i'll go buy it myself when i'm in japan it'll come out in english i think so because later this year in 2024 
the trading card game Union Arena will be having its global English release. And then I'm going to assume Nikkei, being as popular as it is, should be releasing within a year of the English release. So maybe 2025. Maybe 2025. Oh, we're in. Okay, okay, all right. All right. We'll save this for another time. Here we go. We are in. Yeah, ja Japanese cards are going to be uh, worth more. For sure. Oh my god. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's do the scam wheel first. Okay. Let's see the back. Let's see the back. Holy moly, Jesus Christ. I think it's the first time I feel disgusted by skin. I think it's legit the first time I'm disgusted by a Nikkei skin. You've got to be joke. Okay. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the. Okay. So they put Rem in. Did they fix the leg thing? Guess not. But at least the free skin is better. Right? We've got we've got the skirt moving. The free skin is A-OK. -okay. Honestly, they could have probably sold it the other way around. I think they improved the details of the weapon. Did they? I actually don't know, I can't see. Look at how she holds her staff. Let's see. Okay. You mean during the attack animation? That's alright. I don't think there's anything wrong with holding the staff. Right? Unless I'm missing something. How it's not flipped? Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I'm pretty sure Rapunzel is the same, no? Okay, let me check Rapunzel. The staff doesn't rotate. Well, I'm pretty sure Rapunzel is the same. Oh, Rapunzel somewhat rotates. It goes down a bit. She switches hands. Oh, God. All right. All right. All right. Guys. What we need to know is that no matter how much we complain, okay, it doesn't really matter because 70 to 80% of Nikkei revenue comes from our JP bros. And uh, Nikkei hasn't been doing so amazing in JP currently right if we take a look at uh, the february revenue 
JP Bros only spent not even one fourth of the January anniversary revenue. Okay, so for those of you that are on stream today, the number says 314 million JP yen. By tomorrow, within whatever hours, we'll come back and see how many millions this has gone up by. Because I'm 100% sure that uh, this collaboration was made to basically make sure that our JP bros are happy and they're going to make bank off of the JP bros. So if their gamble pays off, you know what? It really doesn't matter what we say. They've done their market research and their highest paying customers in JP wants this. But, but if it's not a lot, then uh, what the hell is going on? Anyhow, uh, there's also Rem. Rem should be the the biggest jump, right? Because Amelia, Amelia is like, sure. Anyhow, um, any new cheap packs? Yeah, it looks the same, to be honest. Fine. Well, let's do some pulls. Let's do some pulls. Switch music. Let's do some pulls. Okay, jokes aside, all right. I love, I loved ReZero when it first aired, and then Subaru had to fight through all that BS, and then Rem falling in love with Subaru. That was peak. That was peak. I really, really enjoyed it. But, um, anyhow, enough chatting. Let's bring home Emiliaton. And I think we can go for Max Limit Break. This is Master Duel, yes. It's not copyrighted. This Master Duel song is not copyrighted. Konami is very nice. Uh, if I played ReZero songs, it will be copyrighted. Uh, yeah, the, the rejection to the confession was very sad. Anyhow, all right, guys. How many pulls until max limit break? For D, it only took me a hundred pulls to max limit break. Come on, Amelia. Come home. Come home. We're also gonna do um, some viewer pulls as well. So if you are interested in me pulling for you, DM me on Discord with your logins and server, okay? Yo. Okay. Usually, I get one copy within the first 30 to 50 pulls. Ooh! Okay, okay, okay. Just like I said, the first 30. The first 30. I want to see abnormal. It's been a while, but I want to see abnormal. Oh my god. <sighs> Is it Tetra Tuesday? Tetra Thursday? Whatever. It's Every day is Tetra Day. Oh my god. Okay. We'll keep going. Did I get too lucky during my D pulls and now the luck is supposed to balance itself out? Uh, game. Devs, don't make me skip, okay? It's sad enough as it is. Don't make me skip. Oh my god. Is it because I haven't spent money? Okay. If you give me two right here, I will top up. I will top up, devs. I will top up right now on stream. Give me to Ameliaton. <laughs> oh my god. I don't need... Oh my god. 
if this was Scarlet Black, I'll take it. But it's not. Oh my Jesus. Okay, you know what? Fine, you got me. You got me. God damn. Alright. How many poses is this? Sixty pulls, and I got nothing. <sighs> I got three hundred sixty gems. That's true, but these deals are pretty decent, right? It's better for me to. Uh, to just buy them up like the 15 ticket thing is the most cost effective purchase so if I'm gonna spend money might as well just do these ones cope <laughs> that that does sound like coping okay the most important part is sending a message to the devs servers letting them know that um, I'm a spender and they better give me some good luck I'm, I'm also giving the devs time right now to hop on to their back end because I know you're in stream to hop onto their back end and uh, give me <laughs> give me the dev mode on okay because I I don't want to type it myself but I, it looks like I have to fine fine Devs, just so you're aware, I just topped up. Let's go. Look, look, look. <laughs> I expect two Amelias. No, three for three, one for each transaction. All right, one for each transaction, three transactions, three Amelia tons. Okay, the last one. Sure, sure, sure. It better be abnormal. Here we go. Holy moly! Do I just not pull for Amelia? Maybe I can skip her. Maybe she's just not that good. Maybe I can just skip her. Just ticket her? No. With the colla uh, with the anniversary coming, I'm definitely not going to ticket <laughs> Amelia. A hundred pulls, zero Amelia. Okay. Okay. What do you even do? I'm back to I'm back to 360 gems. It's like I never topped up. It's like I never topped up. What the f <laughs> Okay. Okay. Two Amelias in a hundred and ten pulls? I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's go! Here's one. Come on, baby. Okay, another one. Another one. Holy moly. To get this forehead out of my stream.
Oh my god. Okay, what do you even do? Uh, okay, you know what? Let's just go to the testing. You know what? I've, I'm very happy that we now have this Union shooting range testing ground where we can quote unquote borrow the unit. I guess not. We can't borrow. Oh, what the f Okay. I guess we can't borrow. That's okay, we have scope block. Wait, she is there? I missed it. Oh. oh it's okay, we'll just use scope block. Everyone's max core. It's it's fine. <clears throat> we'll scope block. Um Let's see. Oh there we go. So, charge speed goes up, charge damage with the ammunition thing goes up, and then... Okay. Well, why don't we compare her to the premier <laughs> rocket launcher? <laughs> and then uh, we'll do bunnies for the max ammo thing. Let's see how she does. All right. This will do. Weak point water. Okay. Let's do this then. Let's just do wind. Oh my god, we'll have to reset. Big numbers? I don't expect big numbers. Where are they? Where are the bunnies? Where's litter? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look. And then we'll do some viewer polls. I might do... I might do um, more polls if... If she's that good. Wait, even with that charge? This is just Snow White, right? Even with the 300% less uh, a charge debuff, quote unquote debuff, it's still pretty slow. Wait, it doesn't have pierce. It's Snow White, but without the pierce. Okay, let's see how Scarlet does post burst. Because that was the burst from Amelia. And now we wait for this burst to finish. <laughs> All right, buddy. You've tried, okay? You tried. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding? Um Yeah. I think what's gonna happen is uh, we're gonna put <laughs> Rem with Scarlet Black, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. As uh, can I check her burst gen? Uh, I'm gonna have to let the uh, the PVPers. 
I think she's got... Okay, you know what? Let's just do... <laughs> Man, the damage is sad. We can see... PvP performance, perhaps? But the thing is, the problem with PvP, though... Compare her with power? Okay. The problem with PvP, though, is... Um, even if you have an amazing team, if the enemy has, like, insane... Oh, I, I need to put her in the... Um, if the enemy has really insane power over you, then it doesn't matter. Oh, let me put some chill music on. Oh, actually, we can do this one. Give me one second. Let's play Cosmograph. All right. Uh, so I think PvE wise, not really good, but I think PvP, we might see somebody. Where is she? The reason why I think she'll be PvP meta, viable, whatever, is because she has really fast charge speed, right? She'll gain charge speed for herself. The problem is, though, against Scarlet, enemy Scarlet teams, you're not going to get this off because Scarlet is going to wipe. But I think this might be good. Okay, let's put her in the... Um... Amelia isn't that good in PvE. I haven't tested her in PvP. Let's put her in the outpost. See what we can do. It'll go off if you have Noah. I guess, because you're, you're securing a burst as well. Because um, she's going to have higher rocket. I mean, rocket gen. Uh, okay, I need to take a few people off. I think the original D can, can go off. I don't... Uh, I think Makima is still used somewhere. Mirana is not really used anymore. Sure. Yeah, I think we'll go. Let's let's take a look at um, her performance against noise and uh, not noise um, stall teams. Okay, I'm not even going to upgrade for now. Yeah, I think you even skipped the enemy Noah, right? No, we we, te we did testing in the Union range with scope lock. So everyone is at 10, 10, 10. Same gears. I didn't just bring a level one. <laughs> no, I did not just bring a level one Amelia into <laughs> into the union range to test against uh, to test against <laughs> against Scarlet Black. <laughs> oh my god! Let's take a look at. Um... I mean, who do I even fight? Uh, I'm way too overpowered. Like the the gap from the power alone will not yield any meaningful. Results. 
Okay, I will I'll hop on someone's account and then test on their account. How about that? I'll hop on someone else's account and test on their account. To try to even the playing field a bit more. Okay, so I I burst way faster. That's true. But I'm still losing. Okay. Three against one, can we win? Surely we can. But that that didn't really showcase Amelia. And the thing is, I don't even want to invest in her. I don't even want to invest in Amelia. That's the problem. Okay. Any <laughs> brave people that want to pull for Amelia and then we can hop on your account to do some more standard testing. I think that would be a better showcase of Amelia. Because as it stands right now, <laughs> guys, don't skip, okay? Maybe I just haven't discovered the full power of this collaboration just yet. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up. If they gave out skill reset, I would, um, I, I would invest. I'll go 10, 10, 10. I think, okay. I think <laughs> any Amelia fans, don't, don't let this discourage you. Okay. Any Amelia fans looking to, uh, <laughs> to test their Amelia might as well. Do it in front of the people. Why am I trying to spend your gems? Hey, if you're gonna pull for Amelia regardless. I mean, I had no overload gear. Let me check. Let me check. Oh, I see what you mean now. Yes. I see what you mean now. Um, what if we do this instead? My lap chance one one one. Slightly more attack. But I think Amelia should at least. Destroy Labchon, right? Wait, it's not the right. <clears throat> the range lock skills, yes. So it'll be 10 and 10. Um, Amelia locked. Uh, here. I'll do here. Three minutes against boss. So here, Amelia should be... I think I have to use their Amelia. 
right? Let me check. Rarity and levels, yeah. And then this Amelia is 10 10 10. Against the. Okay. Can a 10 10 10 Amelia. I think this is fair, right? I think this is alright. 10 10 10 Amelia against the 1 1 1 Lapchon. The Lapchon has one overload. Let me check. Element? Oh my god. Let's go back. Look at the stats. No, no, no. It's. It's showing my 400 something level. It, I cannot revert to a level 200. No, Lapchon will be locked to 200. Lapchon will be locked to 200. So. This is 200, but if I highlight it, it would be 404. But it should be level 200, so the same, the same. I mean, we're going to do a lot of tests. And we'll see, we'll see. Okay. So let's take a look at the charge. Okay. So what is the buff? With every unit in the max pack. So I guess increase the charge. So there's only one stack, so it's only 2%. That doesn't seem right. One stack. How do you not get the stack up? Okay, she's at least better than a 111 Lapchan. <laughs> Oh my god, if she was mid reloading during the burst, then she has to finish reloading. Maybe good in AOE sim. Okay, let's let's see how the AOE looks. Let's see how the AOE looks. Maybe there's gonna be a boss that's water weak, have and have multiple parts, and the boss will actually buff your ammo. Wait, yo, whoa, yo, look at that explosion range! Holy, yo, that explosion range though. Okay. Is it better than A2? Okay, you know what? My A2 is decently invested. We'll bring A2 to the mix. But okay, the thing is, look at the wave clear potential on this. Right. Oh my god, you have to wait for it to reload. And look at this. Why is this not instant fire? You're wasting so many precious... 
Okay, the range is a lot. But you're wasting so many precious seconds. Because what's happening is she's reloading doing the burst. I guess this that could be fixed from uh, overload. Uh, overload lines for max ammo. But she's reloading and then she needs to charge up for another oh yeah, it's the charge is a lot. Okay. How invested? Zero 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 four four four. Okay. I think that's that's fair. I'll even take off the cube. I think that's fair. I'll put my Actually let's just do that. So A2 has 444 instead of 10 10 10. Wait, that's not good. Um, okay, you know what? Let's just see. Let's just see. Wait, fire? Oh my god. Elemental weakness. Oh my god. Litter bunnies. Because right now, if Rem. I mean, Amelia is better than A2. Then Rem would go better with, um, technically, go better with Amelia than uh, A2. Okay, let's see. A2 clears Amelia. <laughs> let's. Oh my god. I mean, just look at the near collaboration quality versus, like... Oh my god, what a difference. Well, wait till A2 bursts as well, of course. So this is after the first burst, right? Amelia, yes. Amelia's doing much better. Let's see how it looks now with A2 bursting. I guess it's not that fair because now. Well, I think Amelia's burst looks a bit more. Will A2 catch up? Wow, there's a big burst coming out of Amelia. Okay. That was massive coming from Amelia. You never not burst first with A2. I mean, we can do the reverse testing. And then do A2 first. So this is 10 10 10 Amelia with 555 overload. Well, not overload, 555 upgraded. Versus zero 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 four four four. So I'm assuming Amelia is definitely gonna come out ahead. I just don't see if you have an A2 at MLB, in what case is Amelia better for PVE? Especially with Rem, right? Because the problem with A2 for a very long time is uh, the HP management. But freaking Rem gives lifesteal to A2 now. Like, sh she will heal A2, so A2 will be topped off. Oh my god. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna assume A2 is killing. Yes, look at that splash. Yeah, Amelia missed all the <laughs> Yes, she missed her ice thing. Oh my god. I I'm not that sold on Amelia. I mean I think Amelia is starting to catch up a bit, but uh, I'm not that sold, to be honest. Um, yeah.
And we couldn't really test in PvP either because the power difference. Wait, how did I just go from rank 1 to rank 4? Did it just reset? Or did someone just beat my ass? I didn't. What happened? Oh, I guess they just all decided to log on and play the game. <laughs> it's alright. It is after reset. And I can't test in Challenger because... The gap is massive. <laughs> oh my god. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. The only thing Amelia has going for her is the burst gen. So I think for PvP, she could see some use. But honestly, if you are a PvP player, then you really will not be asking the question whether or not to max limit break. Right? So I think it's just for collection. Um, any other additional testing you guys want to see in the shooting range? Because I'll be super honest. I'm... I cannot see how she would even make it to the current meta teams. I guess you could have a fire enemy and then uh, you run her instead of A2 if you mass reroll elemental. Right? That's technically viable. But if she's not even keeping up with A2, then... It's really difficult to even recommend her. Wait, was it iron that we were testing yet here? Okay. It's, it's hard. It's really hard to, for me to recommend her to anyone right now. I think it's just the collection unit that cost me a hundred pulls. My God. You regret not playing before and missing near collab? I think <clears throat> if you didn't join during the year collaboration, it definitely hurts from a from a jiggly ass point of view. Okay. I think <laughs> it definitely hurts. Oh my god. I was so not hyped about A2 that I forgot to even ask for a thumbnail. Uh, I should have. Did I have? Oh my god, I didn't have a thumbnail. Okay, you know what? I'll make a quick video sharing my thoughts. Um, and then we'll go from there. Because I, I don't even want to waste that much time <laughs> talking about Amelia. Let me just load up the stuff. <laughs> the worst part is I didn't even get lucky. I did not even get lucky. Okay, all right. I'm a one out of a hundred. I see. Thanks for keeping track. Okay, I'll do something funny. 
I will take power. I'll take power. Oops. Where is power? I'll take power to the unit range. So power is at one 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 with full overload uh, with full abnormal gear, just like Amelia. Let's see how that looks. I'll put my Amelia in. And then if we do this, then it doesn't matter because they're all 111 with 000 abnormal gears. Yep. Yep. And level 200. Max core. Oh. Forgot. Do this. Iron. Just yeah, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> Title shift up is Team Rem. Um, I'm pretty sure Emilia is going to be very good in PvP. But I think for the general public, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be power gated. She is double hitting, right? You see how the rockets are double hitting? The power only single hits, which is pretty big, actually. Which is pretty big. Because every single shot... Oh, it's not double hits, it's freaking skill. It's it's this... This thing. Where is it? Yeah. See, this is power creep. Fixed damage to the main body. Uh, extra damage as final attack. These things are power creep. Nowadays, you can't call yourself a damage dealer without doing something extra. Moldurnia was the first one, right? To trigger that. And now everyone and their mother has this deals extra damage thing as part of their kit. Yeah. So it's, it's not a double hit. You definitely need overload gear with max ammo. Just so that you would not catch this really awkward timing. Which is, which is really funny. Okay. Why? This Chainsaw Man 2.0? I think Chainsaw Man is slightly better. Why is Noir? My Noir is really geared out. My Noir has overload gear, I think. And it's shotgun against the boss that's really close right now. I don't think this is Chainsaw Man 2.0. Alright. I'll just do my early impressions of uh, Amelia. I think Rem is going to be the one. Alright, let's put some chill music on. The event has no audio. It's not voice. <laughs> uh, Alright. <clears throat> Hey everyone, Tomias here, and welcome to another Nikkei video. So, we're going to share some early thoughts about uh, Amelia Ton. And uh, just know that the current testing is not fully done just because we don't have REM yet. And if you take a look at Nikkeipedia inside the game, 
you know that the REM will be buffing rocket launchers. Uh, and Amelia, of course, is going to be a rocket launcher user. However, we did pull a single copy for collection purposes. And we did some testing just to see how she performs. Now, my current advice, if you don't want to watch the rest of the video, is um, if you like the collaboration, do you go for a single copy. Um, not only is she, of course, the main character of uh, ReZero, she's also very, very good in PvP because her regen on the rocket burst gen is actually very very high okay so if you're a pvp player one copy is definitely good as you are going to be able to use her in teams to uh, regenerate the uh, burst however if you're looking at pve the unit raids the other uh, content she currently i'm not that happy about um if we go to i think it was the iron part we used to test so we take this off we take on a2 to the team she currently sits at a very awkward position now we already know the skill kit of uh, rem so uh, units like um no i use uh, the free one given so it's 10 10 10. Uh, units like a2 and uh scarlet black and amelia ton will be buffed quite significantly um, rocket launches will get attack and also get HP sharing recovery and rem herself does have lifesteal so uh, rocket launchers should be benefiting a lot from rem but the problem is who are you going to use now the only case where I can see Amelia shine over rem at the moment is basically um, you using um, her doing the water stages right if you use her doing the water stages sure rolling all elemental advantages attacks on the substats of your overload gear then yes that will work but um if you're not looking for that full ellie advantage even a2 outperforms a2 is really really strong and rem solves a lot of a2's problems and not only will she get buffed from rem just by being a rocket launcher user the hp issue that a2 comes across uh will be solved by rem as well because rem is going to be constantly life stealing and also healing a2 so uh, it kind of feels very very weird in the sense that uh, amelia tan is in an awkward position where she is really just relying on the fact that the enemy needs to be water weak and you rolling the elemental advantage to benefit now if you look at the aoe um, capabilities of amelia it's quite good the <laughs> explosion rage is massive from the burst um, but again she's probably not going to make it to the uh, content clearing stages of the map because you really really need a unit with super super high attack power to go over some of the uh, attack power gate that they have in place and also there's just too many pilgrims and you only have one attack right but you can see here after using her burst look at that explosion rage coming from amelia so that itself is quite good and uh, we might see some opportunities for amelia in the future to fight against bosses that have parts but really 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 spread out super super spread out so then you let her burst and you're hitting let's say four five six parts across the entire body of the boss i mean they always do that shift up they release a boss that is weak to the banner up unit so uh, to sell the banner a bit more so um yeah that could be a use case other than that like i said pvp um, you can definitely see her being played there the burst gen is going to be very very high and uh, due to the fact that she does hold her burst firing from uh, quite a few seconds you might be able to time it against the enemy noah so that when the noah shield expires then you get off the burst and then for the rest of the fight of course your splash range is going to be massive so i think she'll definitely be a pvp viable unit but for pve we'll test it once ren comes out but even with the current outlook with rem in play there's just too many other competitions at its current moment to justify pulling a max limit break or a core 7 amelia but again we need to test this right we need to test this she is going to be a collab unit which means if you miss her she's probably not going to come back for another time also f half anniversary the 1.5 anniversary from shift up will take place uh, in next month right we can expect a pilgrim unit and those are usually very very meta so you could throw some pulls here and then use the tickets to exchange but most people will be saving for the uh, pilgrim unit those are usually meta defining and i have almost a very very clear suspicion 
that uh, there will be a rocket launcher in the half anniversary pilgrim banner that will be buffed by rem so <laughs> yes with that said i can't at its current moment recommend you to pull for amelia at all beyond the one copy for collection or for uh, pvp but you know what we are a waifu loving game so if you do like her go for it and if you're crazy enough go ahead spend 60 dollars uh on this beautiful <laughs> On this beautiful skin that she borrowed from Aid. I mean, look at how traditional this looks. Right? Everything is completely covered. As it should be. For a traditional maid outfit. Guys, don't be fooled, okay? She does show some knee caps here and there. So, uh, very lewd indeed. Anyhow, <laughs> I, I have to be honest with you guys. I... I just can't see myself pulling past one copy unless some of the big brains come out and say that, you know what, in solo raid, suddenly she's going to be team three because they found this bug with Rem. Until then, it's going to be one copy for collection and I'll be going all in with Rem instead. <laughs> all right, it's Tamias here and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye now. I mean, just just look at D here. Like, how do you even compare? Oh my lord. Okay, goodbye. Tamaya's here. Bye. Okay. Alright. That'll be the video. Anyhow, we do have a brave viewer looking for a single copy of Amelia. So... Rise up. I will log in to his account. Oh yeah, don't forget to put D on your wish list. That's right. That's right. You didn't get D on her waifu banner. Well, you can get D now from the uh, normal pool. She was added instantly, which is crazy. That means you can Luxac D off of uh, the collaboration right now. All right, so we've got a viewer. One copy. 50 pulls. Sure. Easy. I sacrificed myself, so your luck should be much better. All right, let's let's upload one tab. Okay, I'm not sure about one tab. Oh my god, my my editor is asleep. I think so. I don't even have a thumbnail for the Amelia video. Fire him? The what? He has to sleep. All right. My God, look at this man with the two B. I don't know what to say, guys. I don't know what to say. Why is there such a big difference between the collabs? Okay, anyhow, Amelia in 50, coming right up. Oops. Okay. Two B looks much worse. My goodness. Okay. 
And now, focus, focus, focus. Let me turn on the dev mode for this guy first. Because uh, my luck today has been quite bad. Wow, I've pulled on your account and secured you the unit seven times already. Okay. So I think it's fair if you don't luck sack this time. <laughs> Two more. One hundred forty pulls. You pull the Viper, dupes of Viper and Alice. Rip your account. Enjoy your stay. Don't quit. Half anniversary is around the corner, and you'll get a lot of free pulls. Okay. Look at this guy. He is gonna go fifty pulls in without a single SSR. It's about to happen. Think of this guy. My bad luck is spreading. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, please. I need a spook. I need a spook to sa save this man's life. Okay. It's Jover. Wait, was that 50 pulls? Was that 50 pulls? <laughs> All right, it is Jover. Any other brave souls looking to secure their <laughs> Amelia? Because by sacrificing my own account and this current viewer's account, okay, statistically speaking, statistically speaking, the next guy who joins the viewer post will be getting at least two copies in 50. Well, is Amelia really that? An appetizing. Like for D, I had 10 people message me. 10 minutes in. Literally no one wants... Be honest, how many of you guys have pulled for Amelia? How many have... How many guys here have pulled for uh, Amelia? Make a poll. Yes, I do have that feature, don't I? How do I make a poll here? Uh, I don't know how to do that. Poll? Oh, here we go. Did you poll a million? You pull for Amelia. Okay, I'll make a pull. Yes. No. Okay, here's the Twitch pull, and then we'll do the YouTube pull. Did you pull Amelia? All right, there we go. All right, do your, do your thing. Oh my God, my password. <clears throat> Actually, Half of YouTube pulled for Amelia. 64% of Twitch pulled for Amelia. 
Okay, but only 20, 22 people replied on Twitch. Whereas YouTube has over 150 votes. Who pulled for more than one copy? Uh, I think only the whales. I mean, I'm a whale, I would say. And I didn't even pull for more than one copy. I mean, if I got it early, I would. Okay, guys. You know what? I will... I have the... Here you go. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is me undercover right now, okay? I'm currently undercover in the number one Union Raid Guild, Scarlet. <laughs> uh, the current... The current... <laughs> breakdown is Amelia is not bad but not good either. One unit... If you like her, or MLB for see, this is whales, okay? Mega whales, they don't pull one copy for collection. The MLB for collection because of the uh, because of the um, <laughs> uh, home screen. MLB is for collection. One copy is is for plebs. You thought I was the guild leader? I used to be. My levels are way too low for Scarlet now. Rem is the real star. Cool. Cool. I'm glad the number one guild agrees. Also, the number one guild's sister guild is recruiting. Okay? You know what? Small White is recruiting. Now, let me invite. Can I invite? Wait. If you guys want to join a relatively casual sister guild of the number one guild come on in boys come on in you can apply if you're on na this is for na only <laughs> all right they're recruiting easily secure like top 100 or 50 i forgot what they placed by just playing auto but yes yes I gotta do my part, okay? As as the founder of Scarlet, I gotta do my part. NA, NA. Rem poll? I mean, I, I don't think we need to do a poll for Rem. Everyone will be pulling for Rem. I think it's pretty obvious. Because her skills are out of this world. Is she? Wait, why did I close it? No, the freeze, the skin doesn't show anything. Honestly, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with the skin. Oh my god, there's Jiggle! Wait! Rem best girl. Rem is 100% best girl. Amelia could never. Amelia could never. If you get the free skin, there's Jiggle. Wait, is there one in the normal maid outfit? There is as well. Oh, but, oh my god. Wait, how about the paid one? Have I checked out the minigame? No, I've not. I have not yet, no. Oh my god. Okay, I'm sold. I'm sold. I think I like the free one, the soda outfit, more. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Soda? 
the outfit. You think that it's not the same outfit, but it's actually pretty much the same outfit. It's just that literally this part for soda, it barely covers half, not even half, maybe like one third, barely. But for Rem, it covers her completely. <laughs> God damn. Anyhow, uh, I, I got distracted because I was looking at uh, Rem's skills and then got distracted. Wait, here we go. Yeah, this attack buff essentially makes her the strongest B2, right? It makes her the strongest B2. Which is pretty damn good. 120% attack buff is pretty insane. And then on top of that, HP sharing recovery. I can dig it. I can dig it. Oh, wait. Hmm. I just got a message. Oops. One second. I just got a message. Um. We might bring Amelia. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Hold on. We might do some more Amelia testing. Because uh, I just got a message. If she gets a CDR on the team, uh, cooldown reduction, she will have 100% uptime on that attack buff. Okay. Where's Amelia? Okay, I'm about to test something. Let's play close attention to... to the hitbox. Is she proccing? Oh my god. Wait. She actually procs? Three times? Oh, I didn't mean to quit. I meant to restart. Wait, she actually procs three instances. Normally for some of the units that have extra damage, it only procs once, right? But look at the shot. Look at the th four. Yo. That that is a massive damage boost. Okay, my Amelia right now is like half of my Modernia. Okay, so it's not a fair comparison, but I'm very re reluctant to invest. But look how much, even if the parts gets destroyed, that is a lot of numbers. That is actually a lot of numbers. Right, that's four here. Okay, 
Okay, let's see if this procs. Oh my god. I mean, it is a lot of instances. Yeah! That's quite a lot. Oh man. <laughs> what that? I don't want to invest in my million to, to test the full numbers. Oh. Invest? Anyone got a maxed? Okay. We have 600 people here. Surely we have someone who has already built their Amelia, yeah? That's a lot. Oh my god, why are you reloading right now? But this is not bad. That big of a deficit versus Lapchon and... Oh, but Lapchon didn't burst yet, right? Do I need her 10 10 10? No, 7 7 7 is enough. I just need an Amelia simp that has... Ideally, max limit broken Amelia with a 7 7 7. LB5, 10 to 10 with overload. That works too. That works too. If if she's that invested, that works too. It has Subaru. <laughs> I mean, Subaru is, Subaru is not in our world. Any brave souls or Amelia, um, Amelia fans with a 10 10 10? I don't need 10 10 10. 7 7 7 will do. How good is she? So far, we're like, yo, uh, Amelia's not great, but look how many. That's a lot. Her extra damage seems to trigger. Off of every single part, plus the body. I can see at least five numbers coming out, right? I can see at least five numbers coming out, which is massive. Hmm. Uh, do I have to invest myself? Do I have to invest myself? The things I do. Alright. I only do four for four though. Oops. I can reset it. Alright.
Do I go Bastion? I think I go Resilience. Here comes a slightly more beefed up. Against, let's put her against A2. No! Oh. oh god. I did not want to have a full fight. Okay. This better clear. I don't even think she wants to use this old thing. Oh, maybe she does. Okay. I would need to use one of the bunnies to clear this uh, red circle. Yeah, but I don't want to alt it for and have to restart. Oh my god. Okay. So A2. Oh my god. Okay, I think even with investment. Boomer gameplay. Okay, the thing is, I literally have no one to break the red circles. My only choice is Blanc. And I don't have cubes equipped. Because I didn't think we would do even more testing. I think it's mostly still for collection. Yeah. Yeah, it's not enough. I would need to... Uh, you know, I'll, I'll just take the loss. It doesn't matter. I will need to run... Um... Let's just swap this. Actually, I didn't need to do that. Why not break with Noir? I did try. Uh, I just swapped in the war, but it was too late. I just used Moldernia. You know, it's crazy. It's been such a long time since I've cared about the mechanics of uh, Chatterbox because I just run my Red Hood team and uh, three and the four out of the five bosses for special interception dies in 12 seconds. So. It's been a while since I've remembered Chatterbox's thing. Honestly, I don't think it's bad. I honestly don't think it's bad. Look, okay, look at the power difference. My Moldonia is so fully invested versus Emilia. Like, that's not bad. 19 to 26. 
That's pretty good. I think it's because... I really think it's because she's able to proc every single hit. Uh, along with the bonus damage on Chatterbox. With Scarlet. But it's not the full comparison, right? My Scarlet is not uh, fully... Da uh, fully. I mean, my Scarlet is pretty upgraded. It's Core 6 Scarlet. I mean, it's, I think it's decent. I think it's actually decent. Let's take a look. Yeah, we need max limit break and overload to confirm, but I will not. <laughs> I will not go that route. That is a lot of hits. She gets so many hits off from the staff. Okay, let's see how she compares to uh, Scarlet. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! I actually think for special cases, she can be decent. This is not bad. This is actually not bad. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> Cheddar box is weak to water. Ah, god damn it. Okay, but if you look at the power rating of my Scarlet, it's 34,000 versus Amelia, which is 24,000. Okay. Uh, you gotta also notice that. Don't just notice that Amelia is water, okay? Come on. Come on now. Yeah, you know what? Um, I think I have to remake the video. I'll be... I'll mention the splash part. Okay. I'll mention the splash part. So it's at least somewhat fair. Yeah, okay. You guys can say hi to YouTube again. We'll include this part. So it's at least somewhat fair. Everyone's free train. Okay. Well, let's do this. Subaru won't report my video. <laughs> hey, everyone, Tomas here, and welcome to another Nikkei video. Well, this is actually my second take on the Amelia video because my first impression was that, you know what? It's just a one copy for collection. You'll maybe see her in play for PvP because of her splash. But uh, for most players, it's just one copy for collection and save for rem. Well, look what we have here. I'm going to showcase uh, in this video the uh, special usage niche of Amelia. And uh, we're going to break it down to see how she is pretty much comparable with Scarlet while being 10,000 power behind. As you can see, my melee here is only 444. Right, one copy, not even bonded, whereas Scarlet is fully bonded, core six with full overload gears, but Amelia was able to keep up. Now, 
This is the reason why. If we go into the chatterbox, yes, I know chatterbox is going to be weak to water, but um, hey, it's a 4 for 4 melee against the 10 10 7 Scarlet with full overload, right? It's not the same level, but the reason why Amelia is actually decent, and I think for future content, may may see some use is this okay watch closely at her splash range look at this now do you see how many members are popping up on the screen it's because of this skill her second skill activates when hitting a target with full charge and deals fixed damage to the main body however it seems to be counting multiple parts as well and that's why when she's hitting something it's proccing like two billion shots so you can see here all the parts are getting hit and then there's five or four numbers at the bottom as well which is actually quite crazy and this is the reason that Amelia was able to keep up the DPS right the DPS race that is with the Scarlet so uh, overall I think at the end of the day Amelia will have her niche uses she's not completely as bad as I initially thought she would be for PvE I think um, later on when we have bosses with multiple parts I could see it working I could definitely see it working so then what do you build so if you're gonna overload her you go for attack alley advantage and I think one or two lines of ammo will be great because if you use her in the testing ground you'll see that uh, she does have this really awkward timing where when she uses her ult which basically is a snow white ult she times it with her reload now if you have um extra ammo capacity then you will be able to avoid that issue and her great great strength is her aoe right so i'm gonna assume that soon we'll have a union raid or solar raid boss that you can use amelia in and if you load up the team you will be able to essentially hit all the parts of that boss almost spanning across half of the map and then each part will be triggering the extra damage which is quite crucial so um, that's how i think you can see her comparable in um, damage to some of the more traditional damage dealers because if we look here she'll burst and you can see how massive massive that range is going to be but with all that said currently i just don't see myself fully investing in her um but look at this range all right we'll, we'll just hit some somewhere else because uh, this is not that far but if we hit here or down there you can see the range is quite big okay <laughs> my god um but like i've said Amelia's current moment is not even at her full power because we still have a unit named Rem Best Girl and when she gets released she'll be buffing Amelia alongside even units like A2, Lapchan when she gets her uh, treasure and also more importantly Scarlet Black Altar. So uh, I'm not counting Amelia out just yet but as it currently stands she's definitely going to see some niche uses in PV. E potentially as your fourth or fifth team against the multiple part bosses that have their parts really spread out but also in pvp that's right we tried to do some testing on pvp but unfortunately due to the power gap when we just go into a fight it doesn't really matter if we use amelia we'll wipe the enemy team out so for the majority of the small spenders or free to play whales it doesn't you know it doesn't really matter i could put anyone here and the power gap would just make me beat the other team regardless right um so it's it's difficult to test so i'll report back once i hear back from uh, pvp champions such as carry pull <laughs> but with regards to pvp if you're on a level playing field in your current bracket then amelia is going to be really really good because she hits so many units across the enemy team so the regen for the burst is going to be really really high but uh, for pve like i've said aside from the niche uses i really cannot you know recommend pulling for multiple copies until we've at least tested until we've at least tested rem and the synergy between the two collab girls but you know what she has at least proven herself to be um okay okay <laughs> i know the bar is pretty low but for collab characters you know what this is all right um the range and uh, the multiple procs of the bonus damage will definitely come into play i think sometime in the future now the other part where i don't recommend pulling for her is uh the animation from the back i don't have much to say and this 60 dollars skin i mean just see for yourself there is some kneecaps being showcased here which is fantastic 
But other than that, everything else is literally completely covered. But you know what? It doesn't matter because we are not, quote unquote, the intended audience. Like some people in my chat have told me, ReZero is extremely, extremely popular in Japan. And for that reason, we will be able to see tomorrow in a couple of hours time if this number goes from 314 to like 500. Because you can see in February, they didn't make one fourth of the January anniversary uh, revenue. So maybe they bring out the big guns for ReZero and uh, maybe we'll be able to see a huge revenue jump for Nikkei, which will be fantastic leading up to the half anniversary, the 1.5 anniversary. But overall, a million ton is not as bad as I initially thought. Definitely going to see PvP play. Uh, and for PvE, I expect her to see some usage, especially water being a very, very popular uh, code and a lot of enemies are weak to it so if you can get three or four lines of elemental advantage against the enemy you know what she might just be your top dps all right enough copium we'll just wait for rem <laughs> and uh, anyhow it's Tamias here and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye now okay I think that is better because uh, I was I was quite shocked to see her proc that many shots off of uh, Chatterbox. That's pretty good. This is at least 7 procs, which is insane. So basically, she gets somewhat of a buff. Okay, let's just say that was 6 numbers, right? 6 times 47 at level 4. What's the max level on this? Uh, I don't know the max level damage out of coming out of this, but if it's times 6, that is a lot. That's crazy. That's really good. I think that's pretty good. Ram is Gatling? Yeah. Machine gun Gatling. Anyhow, I think that's enough for now. Um, not as disappointed as initially was. So, uh, not bad. Should be good on train. When is train? She can only be compared with other rocket launchers again, boss. Okay, if we put other rocket launchers in, I don't think they will keep up. Let's say we put A2 in, okay? I don't think A2 is going to keep up. We can put A2 in. Is Scarlet good? Scarlet's kind of outdated nowadays, but we love using Scarlet as benchmark. We love using Scarlet as benchmark. Train is in two days. Okay, we'll showcase free train. That damage is so insane. Oh, the problem was that uh, I didn't have anyone to break this. Yeah. That was the problem. Uh... <clears throat> I'll need I mean I, I could fix it no problem we'll let A2 burst first I think that'll be good and then if we do this we go exactly th through two bursts any chance of a collapse coming back? I think eventually they will. Uh, 
So right now A2 is bursting, right? Yeah. Amelia still doing. Oh my god, Amelia. It's not bad. I think Amelia is not bad. I actually think Amelia is not bad now. Not as bad as we thought. Like, look at the power difference, right? I mean, she's not going to be breaking metas or anything like that. I think in comparison to someone like Rem, she's going to be forgotten. But all it takes is one boss with like... I mean, all it takes is Chatterbox in a solo raid. And you're going to see Amelia at the top. If Chatterbox is the next solo raid boss, then Amelia is going to be like Team 2 or Team 3. Just because of how, how much she can actually trigger in terms of uh, bonus damage. But okay, anyhow, I think that's enough. Um, she's going to be amazing in PvP. Niche PvE. Worm copy for collection. That's it. That's it. Um, the problem is for PvP, it's just too hard to test. If we go to... We'll have Chatterbox next to Yunli Raid. Well, you're going to see Amelia then. Oh my god, there's quick battle now. It's not quick at all. What the hell is going on? Okay, I actually wanted to see what happened. I need I need someone that is somewhat close to me in power. Well, it's not even close. That's the problem. There's a replay after. Oh, where? Wow, I think the range coming out from Amelia is massive. Like she she hits so many people. Anyhow, I think um I, I can't really test in my bracket. That will do. That will do. Alright, I'm pretty tired. I think I'm going to end the stream here. And then make a... Try, at least try to make a, a thumbnail for this. Alright. Uh, I have... I have this picture... Yeah, no worries. We'll stream again during, um, we'll stream again during, I'm um, trying to think, uh, what time? I'm 
pretty sure the next stream is either gonna be do it night abyss when is rem rem is 28th right rem is 28th i want to say so it's either rem first or do a night abyss first so either one of the two let me get a screenshot <clears throat> But yeah, I'll stream um, Rem 100%. And by then, the cards, the uh, Union Arena cards will will be here. So I'll be able to showcase. Wait, I'm trying to get a screenshot. But I can't get the time right. So yeah, I'll open up the um I'll be opening the Union Arena Nikkei cards on stream with gloves. <laughs> Wait, I need Too slow. Too slow, I can't get a screenshot. All right, anyhow, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Always a pleasure. Oh, my God. No, still can't get a screenshot. Oh yeah, they have. Oh my god, I can't believe you remember. I still have the half anniversary box. Should I open it on stream? The um, the half anniversary box. VTubers do gloves. Yes. Okay, just give me a good screenshot, please. Wow, I legit cannot get a screenshot. Okay, fine. I'll open the... Um... <coughs> I'll open the... Um... I just record actually. I opened the half anniversary stream stuff as well. Like a true VTuber. <laughs> Alright. Let me open up this here. And there's so many good games coming out as well. Like, I'm super excited for the Azure Lane stuff that just got released. Pretty pumped. Stream stuff as well. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me find a good screenshot, please. Mm, sorry, I'm editing, so I don't know what's going on in the background. Okay, there we go. Put this image here at the bottom. Gonna lose. Lose to what? You're late. Oh, don't worry. Video is coming out. If she's good or not.
Why is there a line? Oh, it's because from my... Oh my god, the thumbnail looks so ugly. But I think it will have to do. Not bad. That, that'll be the title. I can't think of if another title on the thumbnail. Other than not bad. Because <laughs> I think the bar was so low. This was the thumbnail. Like, so scuffed. But I think it's alright. Right? This will do. Not bad. Oh man. I, I just don't have... Any talent. The thumbnail itself is not bad. Oh my god. That arrow is very suggest. Oh my god, I have not noticed. Where is it pointing? As rushes the collapse. Damn, I just got burned. That that was a that was a this is quite the burn. Ouch. Alright, you know what? Honestly, I'm too tired. It is 11.40pm. My boomer body cannot handle this. I will need to go to sleep right now. AKA, this ugly thumbnail will have to do. So, let me upload this. I'm, I'm glad, okay? Huge splash. Brooks. There we go. I mean, not as bad as we thought. Anyhow, guys, thank you for tuning in. If you can do me a favor. Give the video a comment, a like. That would be awesome. It's not live just yet. Give me like literally five seconds. Right, where is that arrow pointing? <laughs> All right, I am... gonna go yeah, there's no video yet how can you say already done if the video is not ready yet don't don't lie to me all right here we go video set private yeah 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 here we go okay all right i'm off thank you everyone for tuning in it's been a fantastic 
stream. I'm glad. I'm not glad I pulled her after 100. But I'm glad I was able to test her. And uh, we found some potential in her. So she's not completely useless. Right. Anyhow. <laughs> Alright. I really have to sleep. Thanks, guys. See you guys at the REM stream. Or the day before. Or the day before. Oh, I see. You know what? It's all good. Kisaragi. I have more news for you guys when the uh, Union Raid cards are here. All right. We'll do the stream opening with my gloved, my gloved hand. <laughs> we VTubing now. I'll, I'll, I'll set up my VTuber rig again so you can see the VTuber model and my hand. All right. Have a good night wherever you are. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye now.